Hey sweet friends, my name is Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, welcome back to another all day whole house clean with me. I'm so glad that you're visiting and hanging out with me while we clean together. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community. Click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time one of my videos goes up. I'm always in the comments for the first hour, so I'd love to connect with you when that video first goes live. So let me know down in the comments what you're gonna be cleaning today. I know some of you clean along with me and some of you clean after you watch the video. So if you're gonna be working on a project later today or if you have a few things in mind that you know you need to get done, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Also give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning my house with you and showing you how I get a clean house through cleaning in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. So I'll have them each labeled depending on the time of day. And then this video ends much differently than my other videos. So make sure you stick around to the end if you wanna see how real things get on my channel. So I've got a huge Target giveaway going on on my Instagram today. So you can enter to win $350 worth of Target gift cards. Yeah! So just go over to my Instagram account, katie.satilli, find the picture that I just showed you and you'll see all the details for the giveaway and how to enter. And I've teamed up with a few of my other friends here on YouTube, so I'm gonna link their channels down in the description box below. So this is my son, Bentley. He is about to be four years old and he has always loved to be right next to mommy. If you go back and look at my old cleaning videos from when I first started YouTube, you will see him two years younger doing the exact same thing. <laughs> just following me around everywhere I go. So anyways, I gave him a bottle of water and some vinegar and let him feel like he was being a big helper and cleaning, he was super into it. You could see by like the huge smile on his face. I don't know, I think kids just like to be involved with whatever mom and dad are doing. So I'm heading in with my e-cloth to dust down the shelf. I've had this rag for such a long time and wanted to use it today for dusting. They're kind of like Norwex. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand, but it's different. It's e-cloth and they clean and disinfect without any cleaning product, which is pretty cool, especially for me with so many kids touching all this stuff. And I don't know, I just really like it. So they pick up all the dust. It doesn't even like fly around. It just absorbs into the rag, which is super cool. I'll have a link down in my description box if you wanna check out some of eCloth's products. Here's a fun fact for you. I keep all my kids' shoes downstairs. So we have a two-story condo. It's pretty small. And I noticed that my house was constantly full of shoes downstairs because everybody takes them off. There was nowhere to put them. There was just a huge pile at the bottom of the stairs. So one day I just decided, forget this. I'm moving this whole rack of shoes downstairs into the bathroom. I know it's not like super cute or pretty to have that in the bathroom for if guests come over or something, but that is the most functional thing to do for my family. And honestly, it has made such a big difference. Our downstairs is 10 times cleaner than it used to be before I had that thing in the bathroom.
at this point, I'm just trying to keep up with the dishes. I try to keep them moving into the dishwasher most of the day. Sometimes I do get behind, but I do try to keep them going in there so that I don't end up with a huge sink full of dishes. We usually run the dishwasher in the evening and then in the morning we unload it so that it's empty for the day and I just kind of throw everything into the dishwasher. And so that's what I'm gonna be working on now. So I got what I deserved, you know it, I wanted it to hurt, so wrong of me to cross that line, if I could I would push rewind, it's my fault, I'll give you my heart, you can crush it, move it on, I'll be on my way if you want it. So I got this new coconut scented Clorox spray. I think the last one that I had was maybe lavender. I don't know, it was a purple bottle. Does anybody remember which smell that is? Anyways, this one is like a coconut tropical type smell and it smells so good. I picked up this new tray here from Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting to get something different than my white tray that I have from Grove Collaborative. Even though I still love that thing, I actually ended up putting it in my bathroom to hold the soap. So this I got from Hobby Lobby. I just wanted something that stood out a little bit more than white. And I needed something a little bit bigger too because I have <laughs> A lot of different products that I like to keep on my counter just so that it's an easy reach and yeah so I got it I don't remember how much it costs but anyways I'm now cutting Bentley a snack he wanted some strawberries and so I'm gonna be getting those for him So I know a lot of you had been excited about that little hack or tip that I told you about with cleaning your stove tops with Windex if you have a black stove top and several of you said that you tried it and that it worked really well which made me so excited. If you don't have a black stove top just so you know they can get really smudgy. It's hard to get them looking shiny. I used this Sentiva, the, Clor the Clorox Sentiva and it worked really well. There were no smudges. It was very clean. So just so you know, that is another one that I have used now that I really like for that black stove top. So at this point, I wanted to make sure and get a little bit of caffeine in me. I think this was my second cup of coffee for the day. And so I just wanted to enjoy that. And then next up, I'm gonna be moving on into my afternoon cleaning. So I just picked a few little chores that I wanted to do. The morning is kind of just recovering from the morning and trying to get it back to a clean place. 
And then in the afternoon, sometimes I'll just pick like a random couple things that need to be done. So clearly I had a lot of fingerprints all over my windows and mirrors. So that was what I chose to do in the afternoon this day. So I was gonna head in to my bedroom and clean up these little sleeping bags. We got these as a gift. Um, a friend gave them to us from Costco. No, not a friend, our aunt. <laughs> um, but our kids have been sleeping in our room for a few nights because all of our kids share one bedroom. We have three kids if you're new here. And our youngest, who's almost a year old, his name's Hudson, he has been waking the kids up way too early in the morning, like 4 a.m. Um, and it's been like every single day. So we decided to try to do some sleep training and we had the kids come and move in with us for a little bit. And um, I think they're gonna move back into their room tonight. So we shall see, it has gotten so much better. So that's the progress report. Hudson is sleeping till 6.30 now, so yay. So since filming this video, I got a new laundry basket. So it's not in this video, but it will be in my next cleaning video. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you that I've been using the Great Value brand, which is just the off brand at Walmart um, of the Gain. It's basically like a mimic of Gain. And then this is my new fabric softener and I love it. It's plant-based, it smells heavenly. It's like orange vanilla scent, I think. And some of you guys have been saying that you like it as well and use it in your homes. But yeah, it's the orange blossom vanilla. It smells so good. Um, so anyways, I got a new laundry basket because so many of you guys have been telling me in my cleaning videos it's time to get more laundry baskets Katie because all of my laundry is always all over the floor when it's clean and I was like you know what that is true and it's so much easier to go up and down stairs when you have it in the laundry basket so anyways I wanted to share that with you guys can't not wait to show you um, these are some shoes that I have. Those black pair are on my Poshmark and they're still for sale. The gray pair I was sending off this day um, to somebody who bought it. This is my hooray sign. <laughs> I'm just showing you everything in my room. My hooray sign for hitting 50,000. We are about to hit 50,000 and that was my Target gift card for the giveaway for $350 of Target gift cards going on on Instagram. <laughs> I know so much to inform you about, um, but yeah, that's all the fun stuff going on. Really exciting stuff coming up. Can you believe we're almost at 50,000 subscribers? I cannot. I seriously cannot. Thank you to all of you. If you haven't yet subscribed, let me take a minute just to tell you, you should subscribe. It's awesome and fun. So I'm just doing like some light tidying of my room. There was just little things here and there that needed to be done. Like the trash needed to be emptied. 
Um, the toilet, I wanted to put in one of those Clorox like toilet bowl cleaners that's always in there. So I had that in there, just kind of spray down the mirror and the surfaces. This is my Caldrea countertop spray and it smells bomb.com. I got it from Grove probably last year and it has lasted me for quite some time now. My camera went blurry and this is me going, what? What the heck? How is that happening? <laughs> Anyways, so that's pretty much my room kind of taken care of. Um, Fiona recently, my daughter, she's my oldest, she put that um, that tray on my bathroom counter and I was like, I love that. How did you think of that, Fiona? Yes, girl, it's staying. All right, now on to evening cleaning. Um, we had cooked dinner and I made Brussels sprouts and put them down in the <laughs> garbage disposal. And wow it clogged it like nobody's business so basically the very end of this video is just us showing you <laughs> how we were unclogging the plumbing i swear there's nothing that my husband cannot do he knows how to fix everything and i'm so thankful to have a husband who can fix it all you got me loose and set me free.